Coffee Pepsi Max meds. Ooh. Good morning. It's Monday. I am so tired. So tired. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's my mum talking to the cat. Mm, the hair. Yeah, I am so tired. Like, it's been a great weekend. Went out for brunch on Friday and then went out with St. Patrick's Day in the evening. And then Saturday went to see the Pixies who were amazing. And then yesterday it was, you know, Sunday dinner and roast potatoes and stuff. I am so tired. Oh my God. So I have a vague plan for today. Actually, no, no, this is the plan for today. I'm going to do my 10 listings first because I've already decided what they are. So I'm going to do them. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them first because I've got my photography bit set up here. And then I'm going to go do my post. And then, because mum signed up to the same swimming pool as me, we're going to have a relaxing day, like a couple of hours at the pool, just like sit in the sauna, have a little paddle in the pool and stuff, go for a coffee afterwards, um, then probably a nap. Yeah. Decent weekend on the bay. Um, I've got 25 eBay and one Etsy. God, I think it's only one Etsy going out today. Um, like the building up my Etsy a little bit has been working, but I need to like keep the, like not take the foot off the gas kind of thing. So tomorrow I'm gonna do some more listing on there. Definitely not today. My head is not in this game today at all. I am like fuzzy brained and everything. Yeah. So I'll show you in a bit what um, I'm gonna list. And, um, and then I'll show you what's going out today. So weird order of stuff today. Anyways, in the meantime, I'm gonna have my coffee and just sit here and stare at the wall for a little bit while my brain tries to engage. Oh. Okay, so these are the things I'm listening to today. Um, I was going through my like scrap silvers and bits and I've got um, some broken rings, some odd pendants, odd hoop earrings, odd stud earrings, odd dangly earrings, things um, that have like little faults in them that someone might want to fix that I just can't be bothered. Um, some little charms and some 10 pairs of stud earrings I'm going to do as a little lot. And then I'll probably do some two kilo lots as well. Ooh, just watching a little bit of uh, Ricky Lee. Ricky Lee, the jumbo sale, the jumbo sale. Um, oh, my brain hurts, honestly. Right, okay, so things going out today. We've got this statement chunky orange green beaded necklace. I hold £3.71 for that one way. Going to a regular viewer, hello. Some lovely chunks of amber. And you can see that there's like bits and bits of bark and insects and things like this. So that's cool, a bit of amber. They went for £23.99. Going to the same person. Little story behind this one. So obviously you know that I found this and I had it restrung and everything. Put it on auction, started at £100. Bit of last minute bidding, very exciting. Um, and then um, whatever buyer who also sells amber, I noticed. But you know. Like, that's cool, you know. Um, and they cancelled the sale. I'm like, you've just bid on it. You've just bid. Two minutes ago, you've just bid. Anyway, sent out a second chance offer to someone who has bought some cherry amber off me before. So hopefully you wear, like, all of them together and they just look all amazing and fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that went on second chance offer for £300. Sale of the weekend. Thank you so much. I hope you adore them because honestly, I've like, got the right lighting under here, but they are such a good colour. When I took them to the jewellers, it was sparkling like under their lights and they were like, oh, that is a nice colour. So there we go. Jewellers approval. Um, so a Ted Baker ring, £8.79. The little padlock that I found in a jewellery box went for £19.79. 
a little um, herringbone nine carat gold bracelet, forty pounds and ninety nine pence, and a little gold um, St Christopher's medal, thirty three pounds forty five. This um, it's got an opalite opalite trio, not trio. What's the word that I'm thinking of? Triplet. That's the word. So opal will be all the way opal. An opal doublet will have. Um, opal and then either like a quartz front and an onyx back I think and then a triplet will be layered op um, onyx or a black stone opal and then quartz over the front of it so that's what that one is in this like Australian lizard stick pin that went for £8.50 a William Hunt nice kind of grandad cardigan country wear tweed sort of thing £27.99 on that these green stone ring earrings, £7.19. A double lot of gemstone jewellery, some nice bits of like quartz and soda light and jasper and bits in there. Probably going to um, someone that makes jewellery, I should imagine, and probably repurpose those, which would be cool. Or just wear them, you know. And um, they went for £25. The snake wrap bangle, £6.39. A sterling silver, I've just got to give that a little wipe over. Might as well do that now when I remember. Um, give it a little polish on its way out like. It's got some nice little sparkly stones at the front. And then we just snake chain. And that went for 14 pounds. Maybe that's a bit better, a bit more of a sparkle. So um, going to the same person, they used my, um, there's like a promotion if you buy like two or more items from certain categories. So they managed to do that boost. So for 27, so for 25.97, they got two pairs of uh, sterling silver earrings. That one is gold over silver. Bargain. Um, someone paid 59.97, including post for four lots of two kilogram bags of jewellery. So that's cool. Happy to see them go. Create a little bit of space over there. So I've tidied it up a little bit. A Stella and Dot bracelet, like friendship bracelet or chains and beads, 6.99. Sterling silver and faux pearl, um, little necklace, tiny little pendant on that went for 12.99. Another two kilogram job lot of jewellery, $16.99, including post. Some Grecian look clip on, very 80s earrings, £6.50, rather fabulous. Um, a carved early plastic or possibly bone, I think I'm earring towards plastic, I don't know. Um, little Scottish thistle, £9.59. This chunky Murano style glass. Um, on sterling silver bracelet, £20, bargain. A little anchor brooch, £6.39. Another one going to a regular viewer, hello, and a regular purchaser. Another anchor themed thing, but they're going to two different people. But they both sold like in the same time, like, right? mad. Anchors are in, I guess. But this like very chunky anchor and like all of these cool stones necklace, £8.50. A little Bambi, Bambette, seven ninety nine. Four kilogram job lot of broken costume jewellery, fifteen ninety nine, including both. Um, sorry, plus both. Um, a money bead station necklace, money is gold plated. That worked for seventeen pounds. And then this articulated dragon, very kind of Game of Thrones sort of bracelet, fourteen ninety nine. And then over on Etsy, just this little sparkly. Uh, sterling silver necklace so that's everything that's going out today so i'm going to make a start on these my mum's just popped to the shops and then at some point soon we're going to go and chill at the pool which would be really nice and maybe have a coffee there as well just going to whack together some lunch i'm just going to have one of these plant pioneers burgers in a bap we're just waiting for the bus aren't we mummy yes waiting for the bus waiting for the I'm, bus I'm and mothers are known. And we're appreciating the, what is it called? Those flowers? Camellia. Absolutely gorgeous. And yay, we've got the whole place to ourselves, including the nice sunbeds. Although there's not a lot of sun in here. <laughs> you all right, mummy? Yeah. Good. Well, time at the pool was really nice. 
very relaxing, really nice to go in the sauna as well. But now I've come into town, just gonna have a quick look around the cherry shops. home just watching some more crime stuff Um, these are the only two things I got in town it was a bit dry today I mean wet as in wet but dry as in there's no good stuff really but I did get these two silver chains and two pendants I'll probably swap the pendants out um, for something else but yeah they were one ninety nine each I'll do and this is what I'm having for dinner tonight I got some leftover cauliflower mash a whole bunch of broccoli um, and some chicken sausages yum yum I'm having a bit of a lounge in bed. I'm going to eat some strawberries and fire yoghurt. And then do some drafting of some earrings, I think. Ready for when I have to do some work tomorrow. Draft done. So um, that's some of tomorrow's work done already. I've just got to photograph them. Which I'll probably do in the morning after I've had a shower. And yeah. So that's cool. Tomorrow afternoon I'm... Um, meeting friends for like lunch and stuff so I'm only going to work in the morning and maybe in the evening when I get home I don't know and then on Wednesday I'm going to see suede which is going to be awesome but yay okay that's me done for today um yeah I'll see you again soon bye bye now bye bye